In this lesson, we want to explain all kind of different type of maps. For example, in this scene, click on a material picker and select this plane to enter its material setting. Well, first, look at this image. We have 3, 3D map and 3D sphere here. In a bump map, we have black and white image, which the black area create a lower part and the white color create bulge or higher parts. As you can see, and the gray color create a gap between two heights. In the fact, this map is a fake mode that simulated 3D mode in the 2D surfaces. As you can see in this sphere, in the border, we have not real 3D, this is fake 3D. The normal map is exactly the same. What? With a higher quality, and as, I, as you can see, its color are different. In fact, by changing the light distribution, it simulated 3D heights. But in the both map, we have not really 3D objects in 3D polygons. But in a displacement map, you know, the height map in some softwares that work based on the same black and white color, it's really created 3D heights to the object. As you can see in this sphere. But it is much heavier than previous two maps and require good systems. Currently, the two motion does not support displacement map. Okay, back to the software in a sitting section. In a bump and in the texture, you can select the normal map. For example, this rock normal map. Give it to the display, as you can see, you feel this is a 3D, but it's not it's fake. And the shadow are created or fixed. If you rotate the plane, you will see that the shadow not change. But they are really light and comfortable and make you move easily in your project. Well, now look at another example in this sphere this is sphere in this example we want to create quality fabric and this fabric has a very accurate all kind of maps <clears throat> okay going to the bump and search for this fabric As you can see, this fabric has all kind of the very accurate maps that we need two of them, just normal and texture. The texture is a color texture and this is a normal map that creates a bomb for us. In this uh, fabric, it even has a displ displacement map that creates a real 3D height based on white and black part <clears throat> well we import this normal map as you can see create our bombs and now you can insert a texture in a color section and we can create our custom uh, material here okay for explain the parallax option in the bomb going to this part of the scene and as you can see in this material that is in a library we can call a material picker click on it in a sitting in a bump the more it has a normal map on it for uh, heights and lower parts it acts like 3d simulate in a parallax, if it's on, as you can see, it's a, the, it has a parallax between the lower and higher part. It uh, acts in a texture. You can give it a, that black and white texture. In a black and white color, it simulates the difference between higher and lower part. In intensity, you can see this. <coughs> As you can see, we can simulate this parallax. 
It is uh, fact actually the height map, like displacement map, is acts uh, like this bit, but it's not real displacement map or height map. For example, you, in a intensity, you can uh, the, see the different height between this uh, grass, a green part, and the mud. The parallax act like this. You can go back and on or off. You can see the effect. So it is different. It is um, another map beside normal map to make your texture, you make your material more realistic. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.